Dyer's ban. I like the Timbersaw ban. Just good all around, easy ban. Radiance ban. But it just opens it opens up your options for carry a lot more than say Ten banning out to go. a different kind of offlaner slash mid. Dyer's ban. Radiance pick. Yeah, also with the Bloodseeker's new rupture, um, Riki Dyer's pick. Very good roamer. So I'm back now. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Player left. Oracle. Axe. Oh, good. Radiance pick. I don't necessarily see the synergy. I think Ricky is a really strong pick against Oracle in general, so... Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. Disruptor! Dyer's ban. And a Disruptor pick coming in. Uh, really strong, obviously, Disruption hero. Ten seconds to go. Oh, well, perfect. Um, really good against the Axe. Send him back when he jumps in. Really good against the Oracle. Really good against pretty much everything Reserve in time. this meta. Yeah. Radiance ban. I think it'll all come down to initiation in terms of who is able to jump on who. Is Ricky able to scout or is the axe able to call? Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. Unlike me, who plays Dota and doesn't have any friends. <clears throat> Dyer's ban. I def I definitely maybe think about the spin on Infamous. Ten Solid stun, go. really good farmer, able to pretty much man up against Five seconds. Axe. Reserve time. It all depends. Like, like I was saying earlier, it all depends on the initiation. It just depends on the angle they're trying to go for. Are they just trying to scout with the Ricky? Lifestealer's still on the table. Or are they just trying to go full team fight?
Radiance Ban. And really, just still surprised that we're life stealers still on the table. Ten seconds to go. Slada. Radiance pick. And the Dark Seer also try they're trying to ensure that their safe lane gets some farm. I don't think well, they still have a couple Ten options. They could throw axe on the off lane or jungle. Um Slardar could still be off lane. Five seconds. Um it I think their drafting is pretty open at this point. Reserve time. Just can't get much better with synergy with the Ricky. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. Could just be about the axe initiation with the amp damage on the life sealer, and hopefully they can blow him up within the time period of the call. Still pretty risky though. Really looking forward to these last two picks. See if they have an answer for this life stealer. Phantom Assassin. Radiance pick. PA is hopefully going to be able to man up on this life stealer early, so they can start snowballing. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. Ten seconds to go. Tide Hunter. Dyer's ban. Ten seconds to go. And even more Five core, seconds. the disruptor, they're just going for pure team fight. Um, these early team Radiance fights once bang. Tide hits six and Disruptor hits six are gonna be devastating for Soggy Mid. Radiance pick. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. So what other mid players could be really viable Five right seconds. now on Infamous, offering good team fight? Zeus. Dyer's pick. Yeah. Like, Techies and Zeus are basically the same hero, right? Tuscar. Now Huskar, that's 
that's an interesting pick against the life stealer. It's kind of who can out life steal who. Soggy mitts, they're they're kind of going for a Oracle Huskar kind of cheese strat and snow early snowball strat. So hopefully they can get online and absolutely Looks control like the game or else What's with all the scribbling? Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. So... Yeah. Okay. Almost bound to happen. And now that just... Yeah, the Ricky's even a better pick now that Axe is just going to be jungling. He can just sap XP, get level suit. 30 seconds to go. Able to really... Yeah. Really effective roam. This this Ricky could have a really effective early game against the, these players. So a little bit of action. PA, PA goes down. Disruptor also may be going down. And the, the burning arrows are doing a lot of work. Slardar going down. Wow. Just a bloodbath. Man, what a fight. He is still trying to catch his Zeus mid too. Deny. But already super low on mana does give him a disadvantage getting that bottle. New player. It will be a dual lane, which... Yo! Dual lane! Dual lane! Dual lane! <laughs> Ooh, catching up the life stealer with the player left. Uh -uh. Oh, PA going on mid, taking down the Zeus. I gave up immortality. Yeah. 
And I think the Huskar really is able to bring that early aggression really easily. So far, tied. Yeah. 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 Oh, really effective. And the the axe just staying in the smoke, not being able to call, is just killing him. Uh oh. No. Also, Tidehunter, that offlane is just the 1v1 one -one brawl, which Tidehunter typically wins. And the Zeus getting gone on again mid. Um, oh, PA. How many daggers am I holding up? So, I would say that's a huge win for PA, taking down the Zeus twice solo. And it really looks like Sagi's having a problem with their early game. They need to, they're losing two of their lanes and their top lane isn't farming as well as they hope. Regeneration. Man, and with the snowball -y team, we have to really think what can they do late game against these heroes. Tide is. Yeah, Tide's closing in on his six and definitely expect to see rotations and big kills coming from that. Yeah, some mana boots. Huskar going down again, just not not the early game that they are wanting. Oh, and now diving the tower. Somebody's cooking. Two down. Ooh. Disruptor barely makes it, and a TP in. And massive rotations coming to bottom now. Yeah, with the kinetic, uh, Ricky's coming in. Not maybe the disruptor goes down to the burning flame, burning it. Oh man, there's just action all over this map. Axe getting really low from the Zeus ult. Man, this is just a c complete bloodbath in the first ten minutes of the game. Seriously, their whole team's just going to be jungling for the next 20 minutes to catch up from this this terrible early game. Player left. 
Yeah, but for how long? This, this Zeus is about to be coming online and he'll just zap everything to death. And here we go with the smoke mid. Already. And. He is super dead. Why? I'm dead at my hands is an honor. This uh oh, big boy tied. Working his way to a mech. Yeah. They did scout out that ward in their jungle, or at least see the disruptor doing something in their jungle. Someone's so. having technical difficulties. Ooh, yeah. No, just both teams backing off. And retribution. I think all that momentum that PA had from killing the Zeus twice in the early game is now officially gone. Um, all, uh, all, and all three cores are up on top. the kills and Tidehunter is gonna take this tower solo it just seems like they've abandoned it Tidehunter is gonna get whatever he wants he'll probably have a blink dagger pretty soon and oh and the chat Dire structures looking fortified. The dire gate oh, of the yeah. tower. So really this This team fight's just about to ramp up for infamous. Absolutely gonna crush this mid game. No, that shouldn't happen. Haste. Um, it's just allowing him to move through creeps a little bit faster, get to where he needs to go to put down the smoke to disrupt these team fights. And honestly, at this point in the game, he may be looking to scale into some type of semi-carry. Um, so maybe the phase boots just needing more damage to right-click better in the late game. Uh, I... Ooh, gives him armor against this PA, just really shutting down this team. Poor Soggy. No breaking through the dire structures for now. Yeah. Dyer's got one left. Yeah, they will. Tower. They, they definitely will have a big power spike once the Slardar gets Blink, once the Huskar gets a little bit more farm. Um, ooh, catching out this Ricky. 
Oh, four heroes there. I don't think he's getting away from that. Ooh. Oh, man. Now rotating all five heroes to this bottom tower. I return to the grasslands. Only on PA. Oh, Axe, great call. Catches the ring. And the and the rabbit oh, comes out. Oh. Welcome to the abyss. Somebody's and to that's a four for three. Hang a coral reef on your grave. Just really. Them dire buildings are tough as nails for now. It was really good of that tide to hold on to the Ravage till the end of that fight to make sure. Gotcha. Again, ro rotating all five heroes down, they really need to secure some no objective. Down the radiant structures like this. Radiant's bottom tower's done for. Player left. Ricky is just scouting all their movement going to this middle lane, so they're going to be completely ready for this fight if they choose to take it. Dyer's mid towers, nothing now. And that's a full team wipe, and it looks like Infamous just are in control of this game. Yeah. Same with disruptors. Hope the dire weren't partial to yeah. that mid tower. Yeah, so how how can soggy mittens get back in this game if they can? And this, this Zeus is going Once down, oh, and they managed to get him. Even in death, you'll not see beyond the Phantom Bay. And I think that's what it takes, just getting pick off. Axe, Axe. Just, uh, just ticks down from the damage. The Veiled Oracle chose you. Oh, the Lysteer is coming in. Uh-oh. Armlet toggle. Oracle here. Somebody's what a ravage. Somebody's cooking. You are a sacred target. That's four to roll. I don't know. PA did stay alive through that fight, so...
or like a lichen with necrobud. This dis so this disruptor just casually walking into the dire jungle and putting down a ward literally doesn't even care. And that's just another kill getting them back in this game one at a time. Uh oh. The whole team here for Soggy Mittens is here. That's four to roll. That went well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Husker. Husker PA. Aegis now. Slowly just crawling back into this game. So Zeus's item progression is really slowed down with these last kills back to back. Really. So, I don't like this. Ooh, baiting in the Husker. So, Aegis... The Aegis has popped. That's four. In the call. And... And six in a row, three down. And wow, that was just an outplay by Infamous all around. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Tidehunter baited the Husker just, just to get a little too far away from the rest of the team. They couldn't back him up. Yeah. And now with that, Infamous back into the position they were. If I could pull up the net worth graph, I probably could see that reflected in it. I cannot click on anything. But again, the three cores on the side of Infamous, Life Stealer, Tide, and Zeus, just really pulling away. Life Stealer is just going to get more and more scary. Husker is going to get less and less effective. Yeah, it's... And really at this point, 
Infamous has the option just to wait for their team fight ults to come. They don't have to rush anything. They can just farm out them out more efficiently and take the fight whenever they want to take it. Ooh, Disruptor goes down first though. Uh-oh. Are they able to turn this? Wow, able to turn that fight. But really, that was not like any other team fight that Inf Infamous was taking. Just really uncoordinated players getting picked off left and right. Disruptor goes down really early. And then followed by the Zeus, the life stealer just was not there to kind of get on top of the hero, get on top of the damage healers. The Tidehunter is balling out of control, is you would say. Um. Um. And just going so deep. Uh oh. Husker does not heal. He did not heal enough to withstand that fight. Together we could have brought Kunka to the bottom. Just really pincered in there, the tide coming in from the back with a life stealer and fest bomb. Just absolutely was able to crush that fight. The charts. Can't use the charts. Me neither. Dyer's top tower's gone. Yeah, never. Hotkeys are just not a thing in the in our line of casting. Um, yeah, we we're considered. We're literally. Ooh, we can say this oracle is gonna die. Oh. Did your mother drop you on your head? I'm grateful to you. BKB is finished on PA, so there is a potential for. Can't do nothing about Dyer's structures right now. Oh. Hit really hard on that. Dyer's lost the top tower. The Dyer's top rags is all the pieces.
I'd, I'd really like to see a little bit more synergy with the Ricky. Um, just trying to get some infest bombs happening, solo picks, really pushing the... And the MKB now coming out for the Life Stealer. Really good time to take a fight. Really good time to just crush this PA. And infamous just That's four in a row. How about that? I take no And that's just the power of the life stealer, just out of control right now. Yeah, and really, I don't know if you can hold out for PA to come back. Um, they're already going to be losing everything by the time she's up. Oh, he's just going to go for it. And the that was good of Dyer's mid range. It's gone. Just trying to go on this life steal. Five in a row. How about that? Oh, man proposes. She went. God disposed. Yeah, I. I agree, they really did draft themselves into two win conditions, which were start ball start snowballing out of control, get the Husker online, get the Slaughter online before any of the team fight ults can really play make a difference, and then the Phantom Assassin can go farm and get big. Right. Basically those were their win conditions, they didn't do it, they just got bullied in the early game and ended up getting crushed by the team fight. And I would like to apologize to our uh, our stream here. It seems like nobody could hear me, and uh, Toby, you were the only one casting for the stream, and I'm the only one apparently casting for in-game, so we're going to try to iron out these uh, rather minor, <laughs> completely unobtrusive technical issues here. Uh, thanks to Pythian Legume, who actually was uh, in the caster slot before I walked in and asked a question, then popped out, uh, I guess gracefully allowing me to cast and then uh, me utterly failing so thank you for backing me up uh you know rats off to you so we will see you guys again uh thank you for watching infamous versus soggy round one we'll go to infamous kod league season two i am ratmore for the first time i guess for you for those of you on the stream uh and that this is my co-caster Nepsico for the first time joining you through Teamspeak. Uh, I guess the root of all evil when it comes to our audio problems here. So sorry about that. We will return to game two with a full entendre of casting super ability in just a moment.
I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Sweat, 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 sweat. I'm the best. 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 Standing on a car, finger up in the air. With some women's with my fingers in their head. Yes, I be the one that went street fight a ton of men's. Make a million dollars without even earning it. I got the highest score in the world on my SAT. And then I went to Everest to learn how to slay them trees. I don't have to count to know I'm worth a billion. You know what bigger number? I am worth a gillion. I'm the best at watching 1990s videos. Power Rangers, all that Keenan kill, all oh, here we go. I'm the best at making beats, that's right, my voice to track. And my swag is off the charts. That's a fact. I'm the best. 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 I did. I'm the best. 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 My car move when I ain't driving it. My car pull, it's got a slide in it. At the target range, scoring all the headshots. Tea bagging y'all, liftings on the rocks. Went to Maury and he said that baby ain't mine. Just for lying, I threw the dump skank on top of a mine. Now that kid's an orphan, and I'm the best. That's a checkmate. We playing chess, my finger in the sky, so much I got arthritis now. There's so much gold on things I touch, they think I'm Midas now. Someone put a crown on my head, I am your highness now. I bet you thought you were the best. Mine is now, cause I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Sweat, 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 sweat. I'm the best. I'm the best, 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 and put your fingers in the sky, you know that I'm the best, yeah. Put your finger up in the sky if you blow out of the bed. Sweat. Sweat, 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 sweat. I did it. You used to call me on my You used to, you used to Yeah You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love And I know when that hotline bling That can only mean one thing Since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody knows and I feel left off. Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed, God. Cause ever since I left the city, you started wearing less and going out more. Blessings of champagne out on the dance floor. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone. Since I left the city, you 
call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Sound resumed. All right. And we have returned here. Uh, Nepsico, let me know if you can... You could hear my voice. I think we have everything ironed out. I can hear your voice. Oh, and you are broadcasting through the client. So, uh, just a little bit of uh, info for our, uh, our audience here. Apparently, you could hear only Toby through the stream. <laughs> very embarrassing. And only myself through the in-game client. So, uh, I guess... If you guys, maybe maybe this is an opportunity, I think, to make some friends. I think everybody could find somebody that was watching the stream uh, that is actually watching the in-game client and, you know, get together and discuss what you heard from each of us and together make a complete story. And, I, you know, honestly, I think that's in itself a little bit of a reward from us. I think I think that's an opportunity to make a new friend. You're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. you're welcome, guys. You're hey, and also You're just welcome. have fun, because I mean that's what we're here for. We're and, all here uh, yeah, just I to have fun. Did forget to mention that uh, we do have another a rear caster once again from last Sneaking night, in. the Mac Daddy. He has shown up. I don't know. He's he's an intern here at the office, uh, and Nepsico. He won't be able to hear you at all, given <laughs> our uh, janky setup. So just let's just have fun with that. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I mean, I can hear you a little bit if you talk really loud. But I let's try you. not to do that for, can... for our boys at home. Well, I mean, whatever. But how about Elder this, Titan. How about this Elder Jeez. Titan? He's popular now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would. I would agree. Uh, very popular now. Let's see what they choose to pair him with. I mean, you you don't you need at least something to pair his ult with, like the Void, uh, or maybe Disruptor, or someone to pair it with uh, his uh, his aura. Some of it works really well with that, uh, not or, or really both. But there are there are definitely a key set of heroes that you want to pick with the Elder Titan. Probably about anywhere from like fifteen to twenty, I think, that work incredibly well with him. So Soggy definitely, so Soggy getting, definitely a getting a support that can support scale, that can a, little scale a little bit better. Oh, you are echoing. I need to change my options while this draft is going on. So give me just one moment. Uh, automatically Five mute seconds. casters. Mute co-broadcasters. Go ahead and give me a little shout, Nepsico. Shout! Hello! Shout! Hello! Hey! Oh, that's not helping. Hey! Oh! Oh! Hmm. Give me one second to try to figure that out again. Um... You know, I'm just gonna have to... I wonder if there's a way to mute you specifically in here. I'll show up. Hmm. New player. Yeah, I may just go ahead and turn off the uh, <coughs> turn off the in-game send, Toby. I can't find a way to mute you specifically. Player left. Or actually, say say something in chat right now, and then I can possibly mute you there. Nah, that won't work. Never mind. Mute me somewhere. Mute me somewhere. You you just you're just gonna have to turn off the in-game audio send. Because you're uh, playing twice here. Anyway, a Dazzle yeah, Vengeful we're, Spirit. We're, we're missing the draft. Yeah, we're, we really are missing out on what's important here. Uh, yeah. Which is the draft. The which, Dazzle Vengeful Spirit. And there's the Faceless Void. Yeah. Uh, obvious, it. obvious, obvious synergy with Elder Tide. And probably, I would say, the most picked hero with Elder Tide. Not allowed, I really don't have any data on that, but uh, just a really solid hero with him. I'd venture to guess there, there's a lot of positive numbers in, uh, yeah. in that. And, uh... It looks like this Very is something. Well said. Very well said. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it looks like this is something perhaps that they were prepared for in Sluggy Mitts. Just first pick Elder Titan, and then why would the other team pick a uh, Faceless Void into an Elder Titan when you could still ult into the Faceless Void's ult at that point? Kind of a death trap for himself in some ways, or at least forcing him out of his own Chronosphere. Still, I like the Vinge pick. Um. Also, the dazzle. You can save people from Chrono. You can save sleep. Um, Radiance. We have a, a couple options. Swap. We have good setup with 
Yeah. Done. Yeah, and that's and that's infamous knowing that the faceless void's about to come if they don't pick it themselves. And I think that has to do a little something to do with the five Ps. And let's go ahead and have Mac Daddy explain that one to our viewers at home that don't know yet. So the pot the five Ps to success as we uh, discussed last match yesterday is proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now whoever can execute those five Ps to the max, I, I feel like can uh, take this home. Yeah. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Go ahead and write that down. Yeah, write that down at home. Sharpie on your forehead. Or you, you're on a, you're at a computer, like, type it. Or type it. Whatever, yeah. whatever you Lazy. feel comfortable with. So they will bend out the Terrorblade and the Axe um, on the side of Soggy Mitz and the Invoker and Phoenix. Phoenix and Invoker, both obvious bands. I think Faceless Void, the way that he's played now, and you can either play him in the off lane or as a safe lane carry, and then the Chronosphere, just the way that they're con there's so many things that combo now with Chronosphere, so many heroes that are in vogue. It just, I've seen a lot of games where Faceless Void, if he's in that first Reserve pick guy. phase, the Invoker, Phoenix, Elder Titan, those kind of things are immediately banned out in that second ban phase. It's just too easy of a setup. I mean, yeah. Chrono, you have any, you can set up for anything. Um, you just have to ban those heroes or pick them. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. And yeah, they are, there are some good counter picks, but. Yeah, Invoker, not so much. Maybe a Quas Wax would work well. Phoenix, yeah, you can you can egg right outside the Chronosphere yeah, if it's yeah. not even yours. And do some work. So two quick picks. Death Prophet, another amazing Faceless Void hero. Uh, not only do your spirits persist through the Chrono if you do uh, get somehow in a, in a position where you do have to be Chronoed with the enemy team all there for a perfect Chrono, you'll still do a ton of damage through that. But also just... If not, I mean, all of her spells can reach into the Chrono, almost clear across it, and uh, just do massive amounts of damage to anybody caught there. I'm really, really liking Soggy Mitt's draft right now. I think it's still... Uh, you you kind of eliminate the problem they had last time, where they had exact you know, timing spikes they had to hit, or else things are going to fall apart. Yeah, they, they're they definitely going to be able to translate into the late game better. They also drafted... Death Prophet for push too. Um, they're actually able to push down towers a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, we saw in the last game, like they yeah. had all five rotate. To all bottom five bottom, bottom for the T1 bot tower. tower, like an important tower, but come on. Mirana. Yeah. So immediately, Magnus Mirana pick. Um, okay, I love the Magnus here. Um, you have a lot of m like movement uh, disabling with uh, the ventral, ventral spirit swap. Uh, the Magnus RP and the Magnus Skewer. You can give the Juggernaut your uh, Empower in order to speed up his early farming and give him a mass amount of extra damage, both doing the Omni Slash and just right-clicking. The synergies are very clear, and I think it works particularly well. The amount of the amount of time that you're locked down under a Magnus works particularly well against what uh, Soggy Mitz is trying to do. And he looks pretty cool too. I mean, yeah, he has a big rhino. Yeah, in my opinion, if it was between him and you know Morana, I'm I'm taking Magnus all day. Now I heard, and this may be a rumor, I heard that the original lore for Magnus, and I'm not kidding here, is that he his his race eternally like searches for a mate, I guess, and if they don't find it, they go into some sort of bloodlust. And so Magnus was basically looking to bone down when man, I can't remember one of the other Dota heroes accidentally, like, set, I think it was maybe the Alchemist when he blew up that mountain in his lore, killed all the remaining females of the Magnetar tribes or whatever. And so Magnus went into this, like, bloodthirsty sex rage, and that's why he is fighting in the field of the Ancients right now. And I think they, I, definitely not the lore as it's presented in game, but I think the rumor is that that was what was originally presented to the devs. Like, this is what I want to be the lore. You better watch out, because he's got a you big know, horn. He just, he just wants to I give mean, his big horn, horn big feet. Radio. Yeah, and, and, and you know, you know how that works. Yeah. And you know the horn still plays in. He still does skewer people. Yeah, he's still very obvious connotations skewer. there. Skewer. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> empower. We know, we know what that means. Yeah, empower. Like, okay, that's obviously orgasm in you window. Don't even try. Oh, shockwave. Uh, the shockwave's running through your body when Magnus is done with you. And yep. uh, and not to mention RP. I mean, reverse polarity. So technically, Dota is promoting rape. Wow. Let's go ahead and uh, not say that. Uh, we are paid we off by Valve to definitely talk up Dota. Valve pays us millions. To do what we're doing now, and we. Uh, I just do want to not... clarify for the viewers that are, or the listeners that that was a, obviously a terrible joke. And uh, yeah, we, wow, Dota Oops. promotes uh, everything good in life. And yeah, great they things. Are great things. Yeah, I like this, like this match right here. We we have the KOD League season two. Some of the best teams from both North America and South America is coming together to play some great Dota and not talk about 
sexual aggression. And no. look at that Shadow Demon pick. Wow, what there a transition. Marana plus Shadow Demon. They have they have so much they can do here. Shadow Demon Shadow Poisons can just stack almost up to full within the Chronosphere. Marana air easy arrow near the end of the Chronosphere early game just to make sure that you get a kill even without any items on the void. I think it's awesome. I think this I I'm loving this draft from Soggy Mitts. I think Shadow Demon's sometimes a hard hero to play, but he's been picked a lot in competitive recently. Seeing some pretty decent success. Yeah, I don't like Shadow Demon. Yikes. No, just, I mean, I'm sure it's a great pick for the team. I just don't like him in general. What are you saying, Toby? Five seconds. Um, there's, I, there's nothing really to purge here with his ult. Um, Empower, I guess. Empower would be the only thing on the Juggernaut, but Juggernaut's going to spin away from that. Juggernaut can... Is Shallow Grave... That, this this may be a dumb question. Is Shallow Grave purgeable by any chance? I don't believe so. I doubt it very seriously. I, I don't believe I've ever seen that, so I'm going to go ahead and say no, because then Oracle would be like a hard counter to Dazzle. <laughs> a little bit more damage. A little bit more lockdown. Um... Really, could go both ways. I really like the draft for both teams. Here's what I see. Here's what I see. Infamous does draft something that can fight quite a bit more often. I think the Chronosphere, the Elder Titan ult, and the Death Prophet ult are all going to be very key to Soggy Mitt's game plan. Marana and Shadow Demon being the only two that really have really short uh, timings on their uh, different abilities, so... But without further ado, let's get into the game and see the disconnects go out immediately. Wonderful. All right. Or at least the heroes having not been picked. All right. Time to roast some. As a captain. This is a segment where we. Where we do what? This is a segment where we pick someone and roast them, right? All right. Yeah. Give me a hero. Give me a hero, and I'll freestyle roast them hard. Shadow demon. Shadow demon. All right. Uh, Mr. Mac Daddy, please give me a beat. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Once again. Dota flows. Yeah. 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 Uh. Uh. Yo, hold up, bitches. Gotta wait on my semen. I'm about to have to roast this motherfucking shadow demon. He's got a dumb move like shadow poison. But you know me, I ain't gonna toy with him. He also got demonic purge. Get off me, nerds. You're making me spurg. Ow, fool. You making me drool. Because you're looking so dumb and you ain't cool. But the main purpose of this flow is that I'm gonna roast your hoe. Shadow demon coming through and you already fucking know. He got 17 strength, 18 agile. But he is the kind of guy that never gets fixed. Because he, he ain't so sick. I'd rather prefer someone like the shadow shaman. When it comes to supports, he's a straight up whore. And you know my real name is Taylor <laughs> To court. Didn't mean to say that on the dang stream, but it doesn't matter if you know what I mean to our millions of viewers. You know you can find me at 1500 East Riverside Drive. -y. Yeah, that's my address. Feel free to have sex. Whoa, back to the topic though. Shadow Demon Rex. That's my prognosis. Dr. Ratmore out. Scoliosis. Uh, wow, and my... I really hope everyone had a pin to write down their address there. Yeah, Talk Jesus. I gave out my name and address in that freestyle. Is that appropriate? Yeah, so if y'all want to write that down, and uh, feel free to just come over. Just There's a lot out. of this. People are going to go back and harass me in real life. Oh, perfect. Uh, and you know what? That's exactly what I wanted. You're playing right into my hands. So now that you know that you're playing right into its hands, uh, nice. Yeah, you're going to keep doing it? <laughs> so we will still be waiting. I'm not sure exactly on what uh, G win ready from Soggy, but Infamous just I guess they're still talking not it over. Quite got everything together on their side. They're talking about the five piece to success. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're doing a little run through, making sure everybody gets it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt that. Proper performance prevents. Wait, sorry. Proper, proper preparation, preparation geez. prevents poor performance. Yeah, beautiful. Really, a beautiful saying that I think we could all take to heart and beyond, beyond and our beyond. into our souls, souls, into our feet, our noses, every part of our body, including the pieces that we're not going to talk about on stream. Because we can't. Yeah, we. I can't. It's Certainly. What's well, illegal? I'm not going to try.
All right, so waiting on who knows what. Yeah, Soggy gonna check on the uh, the infamous members here, oh, thinking something's wrong. Perhaps, perhaps my sick freestyle was actually so bad that it ruptured their brains. No, That's no, my guess. Oh, oh, and there we go. Brains have not been ruptured. Although the Juggernaut has still not moved. Oh, okay, his brain is not ruptured either. Good. Okay. No ruptured brains. Okay, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We, we don't have any ruptured brains yet. I can live with that. So we're going to see the Windlace level 1 on this uh, Vengeful Spirit. I really like this item. It offers, I think, just enough. Maybe it's maybe it's a tiny bit. I wouldn't say overpower because it doesn't build into much, but I think the cost is rather unprohibitive for what I would say is a pretty decent uh, gain. But you know what? I think it's fine. Fuck it. Wait, Fuck and it. There's a smoke coming out on the radiant side. Trying mm -hmm. to invade their jungle early. Yeah, and they're actually just going also, for first blood here. This Slardar could get caught out. Oops. Ooh. My camera work is... Uh, the disruption. Yeah. And there's the arrow. And he. there's nothing I think he'll be able to do about this. He's trapped in. That's an easy uh, first blood. They got, they got, what a what a great move. What yeah. a great move from uh, the side of uh, Soggy. Yeah. Um, again, their team is just gonna set up, have any number of ways to set up for this arrow. Elder Titan Stomp, Disruption. That's true, Earth, that is true. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this? Your Titan? Oh, we have oh goodness! Are they gonna get caught a second time? I mean, there's... Okay, the Shallow Grave will come out. It's not gonna last for very long. I think she's gonna end up going out anyway, unless the Magnus... Oh, okay. Oh! Void gonna go a little deep! Oh, dear. Will he get the kill for his trouble? He's not going to have his Q, and that's going to be his life, I believe, yeah. traded away. Mm. Uh, uh, the Jukes? Nope. <laughs> trying to give, give it to the Juggernaut, which he does end up getting last hit on that. Yeah. Just 150 gold. Not much uh, versus the amount uh, that they got from that first blood, but you know what? I think that Infamous will be glad to take that, since it looked pretty bad before that grave came out. Hey, good on him. Now, we'll force Dazzle to get a level 1 Shallow Grave, not exactly the spell you want in lane to be able to do very much. Pretty much all I can offer is right clicks and saves if they're desperately needed at this point. Have to really try to get that level okay, 2. I just wanted to, wanted to point out the Elder Titan didn't get any regen when Iron Talon is now starting out in the jungle. How do you like that? Uh, it's so common now. I mean, that, that tri lane with the, uh, the Vengeful, the Slardar, the Dazzle to a lesser extent, but... You can do a lot in a really short amount of time. This also gives the Marana a little bit more solo time, and she actually has an escape, unlike the Elder Titan, beyond like just trying to stomp them out. So, yeah, I think this is pretty typical. I don't know about the Elder Titan doing it so much. He is level 2 already, 2.5, so he's getting pretty quick levels. He was able to stack that camp and kill it again. Juggernaut attempting to go on the Death Prophet mid, doing quite a bit of damage, but also taking quite a bit himself. This could... Potentially lead to a level two or three kill from the uh, or no, a level three kill from the Death Prophet. The Shadow Demon going down to the uh, off the tri lane. Yeah, and you know that's uh, I his positioning where he died there is a little suspect, given uh given what they can do. Ron is just getting that free creep, although she I'm sure she would have loved to hit the bigger centaur here. Elder Titan denying himself to get back to base faster. Nothing new there. Already level three, I would really? assume. No, almost. Space this void is gonna have a really good time in this off. Oh, he's gonna choose to just he's going to the off lane. Switch it out, yeah. They're gonna swap lanes. And that's not a bad idea with the stun durations currently out of the uh, dire side. The faces void can backtrack a lot of that damage. Dazzle doesn't really do anything to him. Comparatively, he's gonna go ahead and waste that. Level three already uh, has not spent his next hey, point. You know, oh. I just be safe. Uh, immediate stun from the Venge, just... Well, they get a lucky bash here. He will have his time walk at 10. It's not going to be really enough time unless he just gets a bash right this moment. Oh, my goodness, and that's just going to be... Oh, she is going to be able to escape now. Oh, or will she? Shallow Grave is available. <laughs> really awkward engagement right there. Yeah. And meanwhile, the Slardar just doesn't even care, farms away. Marana doing pretty well here down bottom. Let's go ahead and look at the last hits and denies. Ah, huh. no, actually only four to the Magnus is 14. She has got a little bit more since she came down here, but wow, he's able to bully her pretty successfully. 
Juggernaut, kind of the same story on the Death Prophet. He's 16 last hits to her 13. Sorry? This is pretty reminiscent of last game, like, the three cores of Infamous just getting all the farm they want. Um, yeah. And and perhaps that just comes down to, to their laning just being superior here, uh, just as heroes or as players. This one, I, don't, I mean, the draft's not as disastrous, I feel like, as it was in the first game. Definitely not. And I, I really expected Prophet to really just bully this Juggernaut out of lane. You know, it is it is hard. As a Death Prophet, you know, he get yeah, he gets the poor man's shield. Your right clicks, which are a pretty big strength of Death Prophet, she has pretty great uh, right clicking ability. Suddenly is not that amazing. And then, what, you have to rely on your E, which he can then Blade, uh, blade Fury through? Um, it goes, goes through Blade Fury. It's magic damage now, I believe. And thus, wouldn't. Shadow Demon gonna rotate bottom. Try and get Marana some secured farm under her tower. Yeah, and I think they could still potentially get a kill here. What level is this Marana? Level 4. Magnus. Um, level 5. Uh oh. That's gonna be an arrow in his face. I don't think it's gonna lead to much with Skewer available for him still. Oh! Well, he or could it? Nah, potentially he's turn this. Nah, he's gonna nah, get away. He's getting out of it. Both heroes, both heroes barely getting out with very low XP or health here. That was a good try. Madness. Grab that bounty ruin. Give mana to his little buddy. Probably disappear. Oh! Getting yep. smoked, but. Vigil Spirit looking to go on mid. And I think that's gonna be a pretty easy kill. It, uh, the Juggernaut did, however. I don't know. He's already. Nope, nope. That's just a kill on the Juggernaut. Oh, dear. Take that back. Oh, what timing for the both the Omni Slash and the Venge to be there. Just in time. Yeah. Great, Great rotation. job. Yeah. Big rotation from bats. And he was able to use the uh, Omni Slash while under effects of his Arcane Rune. Definitely a boon to be able to have that up sooner. Added benefit. Magnus still running back to base. Guess he killed some creeps. Sorry, what's up with Sardar? Oh, they're just bullying the space out of lane. They're gonna take this T1 tower pretty soon. Yeah, I'm not sure if I completely... I'm not sure if I completely understand the uh, matchup switch here. Taking the faceless void from bottom. Sorry? They were just, I think they were just trying to make sure... Ooh, first chrono coming out. On the I think it's gonna be a kill. Oh my goodness! No. One hit away, one errant bash away from killing him, and yet it will amount to nothing in the end. I think for Soggy, you're Literally. still in a decent position here. Um, you know, it's really surprising that Elder Titan just jungling away, though. So, he's already level 6. Not bad. 6 minutes level 6 on an Elder Titan jungle. Going for the mech here... And he will have his ult in just a moment once he chooses to level it, maybe at level 7 or 8. So, I think they're in a decent position. They still just rely... Or do you think that's a Vlad's? Oh, you know what? It could be a Vlad's. It's, it's great aura. Both are great aura items. Either way, choosing the... to completely disregard his team and play very selfishly. I think, I think it's alright. I don't think there's a... I mean, there are... There, oh, Shadow Demon will get a kill on the Magnus, though. That's undoubtedly Marana Just Magnus that. setup. Yeah, the Marana arrow. I'm sorry, Marana Shadow I, Demon. I think. Ooh, barely on the edge of the sword here. The power of, that, that was the main reason of catching or picking the Shadow Demon. Just the extra setup, a little magic damage. Yeah, um, a little bit of miscommunication here at the bottom. I think they they had a D ward to stop the kill on the uh, on their own ward, but they went ahead and killed their own ward first before dewarding. Oh! Mm. Magnus able to, or not able to connect there. Not gonna matter as we don't have enough mana for an arrow. Mid. Death probably gonna go down. Om Omni slash number two. Yeah. Omni slash number two with that arcane rune probably was not expecting it to be up this soon. Yeah, it might, it, it might have already been and, up, but either way. And with the rotations of Dazzle and Avenge. Easy yeah. kill on that death profit. I still think I still think Soggy has some room. They're definitely falling behind. I think at a pretty decent pace here, just farm wise. But I think with the ultimates that they have, they still have some room to uh, to take some great fights here and turn things around. Yeah, it's not over yet. 
And then over till the fat lady sings, and there are not any fat overweight women on not, either side. No. And that's not to even say there's anything wrong with that. In fact, we're actually empowering, uh, you know, these women because, I mean, they're the ones that determine the game. And they're not even now here. Once they sing, it's over. Yeah. Yikes, this this <laughs> this Elder Titan just leveling Echo Stomp and his passive and just running around the jungle stomping things. He's just having a ball. Just talon stomp. Just, just having a ball and a biscuit. I would really like to see some more stacking here. I don't even think he, he cares really about the game. Maximizing his efficiency. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he, he perhaps has been, but it seems like he's actually slowed down quite a bit on leveling. Level 8 at 9 minutes isn't bad, but, uh, and the level of farm he's managed to get isn't too, too terrible either, but... So now it's we, 9 minutes. There is a stack, stack on this hard camp, so he may be able to take that. You know, he's actually, he's actually out-leveling the Death Prophet in just a moment here. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, I really like it wording their vision game um they have a couple deep wards behind their two t1s able to give perfect vision they know where everyone's at they're able to make rotations based on that um setting up for a lot of their early kills yeah and then also juggernaut with this haste rune may choose to soon he has about. it he has it again yeah but but almost almost level 11 maybe he's gonna save it and then go when he's he, and he almost has the Yasha as well. I would agree with that. I think just grab... Yeah, there it is. Grab your Yasha, save the haste rune for the level 11. You'll have it in just a moment before that haste rune is auto-activated. But yeah, I think I think he just goes on the Spaceless Void and gets easy kills. I mean, they haven't rotated oh, anyone up. top in lane! Time. Ooh. Void able to... Yeah, able to queue Yeah, get right out of that. Yeah. Void's build maxing... Not quite maxing his Q yet. I see a lot of pro players do this, and I, from my limited skill perspective, don't quite understand it. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh! The Omni Slash is just gonna fail entirely. Chrono gonna come out and only catch really the Juggernaut, but they do activate the Death Prophet Ult. Ooh! Oh. Not a ton gonna come out of this Death Prophet Ult. Yeah, it's they're gonna have to immediately transition this into a tower push or something. But I don't know if they're going to have the ability. The Elder Titan still hasn't yeah. skilled his ultimate. Level 8, almost level 9, has just maxed his passive in his Q. Uh, this seems too greedy to me. I, I liked it at first, but I think you have to be more active. Well, You're not going to take a ton of damage from the from the Exorcism Spirits. Slow down from the Death Prophet. That might just be a kill. Oh, the Dazzle is going to be there to save his life. Yeah. And, and the Exorcism will end. Right before. Yeah, I'm not sure if it even would have mattered. I think with the Dazzle... Shallow Grave and Heal, they didn't stand a chance at that point. Great rotation from the Dazzle. Yeah. Magnus really getting pretty close like to the Blink. I would love to see him do anything. I, I, as I said, I, I liked yeah. it. He will skill up his ult at level 9. Right. <laughs> no, that took long enough. And now I can participate. Yeah. Give me the next Chrono. I don't think he knows. He still doesn't have a spirit, though. I don't think he knows how to play the game. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Actually, this reminds me of watching me. Gone. If this was uh, me playing. Yikes. And yet this guy uh, probably has about 3,000 MMR on you, I would imagine. No, I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm obviously being sarcastic. He could probably whoop uh, my ass with any character. MMR, and he'd probably be out-leveling you, out-farming you, and all around just... Hey, you can't discount You don't, can't don't discount make, the don't Mac Daddy Spirit yeah, Breaker. Don't make this personal. Yeah, well, you you did that by including yourself. <laughs> I did that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> 101. 1v1. We already went through that. <laughs> Ooh, massive ancient deck on the dire side. Yeah, that's um, that's looking good. That's good. a really big boost to this juggernaut once he links up with the Magnus with the Empower. Yeah. So, really easy gold coming in, setting, making it easy for this jug to come online and. They're gonna really smoke up on the side of the Radiant. Uh, just the Marana and the uh, Death Prophet so far, baiting I guess with the Void, but there's nobody up there. So maybe they're just going to transition to push on the tower. I think they were hoping that with their their uh, T1 tower here on the Radiant top lane so low that maybe the enemy would just push for it. But they're going to choose not to, and they're instead just going to go grab oh. Roche. Very sneaky Roche. There's, I don't think there's any way that they get there in time at all. No. no. Look how fast that goes no. down. No. At 13 minutes, Venge Aura, Empower, Juggernaut with, what, a DD and Empower on him, and the negative armor from the Magnus. Yeah, just demolishing... 
gosh. Straight into that ancient stack. Oh. This yeah. is disgusting how What what a, what serendipity on getting that uh double damage run too. Just really they could have done that anyway with the DD it's like, okay. And they're gonna smoke. And they're off. Yep. Yeah. Omni slash up, blink dagger up on the Magnus with RP. He's just gonna go ahead and catch out the Shadow Demon. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, Kills a kill. Easy kill. Yeah. Not sure if they needed to waste the yeah, empower there. I mean the uh, RP. They got, a little, they got a little trigger happy. Uh, yeah. Perhaps thinking maybe there was more there. I don't really know. Ah, uh, that would be my guess. It does translate into a tier one. So. I mean, I think it would have anyway, but. And then you would have RP. Because there's nothing a shadow demon can do to you at that point. That the T1 top's also going to be taken down, so kind of just training it off. Oh. They will have to expend the death profit ult, but that's kind of what you do. Marana ult. Ooh. To save mid, but... Oh! The shadow demon also will come through. I would like to see a stomp there. Oh! Yes! What a play, but it won't matter. The Venge will come out. Yeah, the arrow is great. He is going to have Shallow Grave. I think he's still going to fall here. They just need to keep yeah. up damage on him. And yeah. there's nothing he can really do about that. No. Oh, dear. With the wand charges, easily getting away. How many Shadow Poison stacks? Not enough. <laughs> Armlet toggled to victory. Wow. Great play. I think this Dazzle's been at the right place several times. Just exactly what you want a Dazzle to do in these situations. Also, look, look how aggressively this Jug is farming. He was yeah. farming medium camp right next to the... P1, where the fight was happening, just not scared of anything. What do you think is? Enemy what do you think his item choice is? He has three thousand gold saved up. Is this the oh. legendary Radiance Juggernaut that I've heard so much about? Or he could buy a Snickers uh, bar. You know, Snickers. Yeah, nowadays those cost more. Options. Yeah. Just yeah, you gotta crave that hunger. If he wants damage, there's always rapier. Always yeah, rapier. just go straight for the rapier. Um, you could. To always go radiance for the mischance. Go straight. You could really do anything, but it does look like he's gonna get the battle fury. How bad do you feel for the shadow demon? Fifteen and a half minutes, brown boots, and a ward. Ooh, a lot of fake outs from this Magnus. Just going ham. Oh wow! Here's a call out for you. Uh, you may be a stand-in, Mr. Saint Sayer returns, but rats off to you. That's right. Rats he gets the rat off a wood. Rats right? off. Take those rats and pull them right off that man because he is going ham right next to the Dire bone. Ancients. Do it again. I just wish... If you're stream sniping right now, please just do it. Oh, look at him! Wow, he will do it. As, me, as The moment I say that, how is he doing this? There is a delay. What a god. Not only the foresight to react against the enemy team, but also react against the casters. Toughened up their structures. Oh my gosh. He is just completely faking us out in every way. I don't know what he's doing. What was that Radiant uh, Fortify for? Uh, it was a stylish one, that's for sure. Yeah, was that a Rage for it? Is that a Little Satan special? The Little Satan special. Yeah. So, this this Juggernaut basically doubling up the highest net worth. Still on the hero level here, yeah. Doggy Mitt. And, oh, jeez, uh, yeah. Absolutely killing it. it. Seems like he's made his item choice. What's coming out on this? What's coming out on this uh, courier here? Oh, just the Battle Fury. Okay, it's, it's double down. Battle Fury, yeah. Just double down. on what he's already doing. Basically, he's gonna farm more. One he's gonna for the radiant. every once. Um, they are smoked up behind this Death Prophet. Look for the Chrono. Chrono down. Oh man, yeah. the arrow's gonna miss. The Magnus will go yeah. down. Okay, great, great. That's what they needed. Yep, get out of there. Void will take away all that damage, and they will use the Moonlight Shadow. Here comes the Elder Titan ult. It's not going to hit anybody. Okay, well, uh, the Dazzle will probably go down in a moment. Oh, Omni Slash obliterating them with that Battle Fury out. This Juggernaut's just too far ahead. And, Yikes. And the three-man crush. Yeah, the yeah, great three-man crush, yes. Disengaging uh, decently well on the side of Sagi, so considering what happened, but not going to be able to save. Oh, and look at this. This could be... Look at the Shadow Demon. Actually, Poor guy, never mind. Uh, actually, not at all being able to disengage. From yeah, only the Void. Seeing that Void regain all of his HP after the initial uh, counterattack, had my hopes up, but man, they're just able to chase all of them down. Um, it's that Juggernaut, that's man. Misplay on them graving the Magnus, but all in all, they take a great fight, and Juggernaut just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, 2200 gold in the bank. Um, pretty much. He should buy the rapier. 
And I think this, I mean, I hate to say it, but the Juggernaut kind of got allowed to do what he did by having this Elder Titan just completely sit dormant for such a long time. I mean, what was that, a 10 minute jungle? Yeah. This is what you see in your pubs. So 10 minutes too much. Yeah. yeah Elder I'm Titan being a, a pretty good, pretty good in lane, I mean, the Spirit, the Stomp, a little bit the natural order at yeah, lower levels. Able, yeah, just able to zone people out pretty effectively. And help set up more and more with the with the Marana, yeah. Just going into the jungle and just doing his own thing. Yeah, it could have it could have been a aggro try against the tri lane and they could have come out the better. Um, but instead they had to rotate Marana out, face void had to sacrifice his farm that he was getting against the Magnus. Um, so I don't not quite agree with that choice and Marana just gonna Take a crit and almost die mid. <laughs> Yikes, this juggernaut is got the manta eating trees like he just don't care. Yeah, he's huge. He's just steamrolling all over, man. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, I think another thing that I like that Infamous is doing is not allowing Soggy to grab them all at once. They're kind of splitting the map a little bit, but staying within range to reach each other should something go down, as in that last fight. And so, if they want to expend the Chrono, if they want to expend the Death Prophet ult, if they want to expend the Elder Titan ult, they're not going to get everybody in that. They're not going to get the big three- or four-man Chronos that, you know, are game-winning or game-reversing at this point. Instead, they're going to get it all down, maybe bring one down like the Magnus last time, and then the entire team of Infamous is going to come back, yeah. Just take everything from them. Gosh, this Juggernaut just so rapidly increasing in farm, still managing to just about double... The uh, everybody on the anybody on the highest side of the radiant team is void over here. And I don't necessarily see the answer on Soggy. Um, I don't know where their damage comes from. The faceless void only has a Vlad. Well, he does have it. about three thousand gold blank banked up. I'm curious to see what he does with this. I would think that instead of going for more utility and getting the blink at this point, he would probably just go for more right click damage. Get something like a maelstrom maybe. That seems to kind of be what you might have to do here, because, yeah, in the Chrono, they're just relying too much on their spells, and it didn't work out for them last time. He may try to upgrade the Courier. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it is upgraded. Well, you know, maybe, buy Further up, maybe buy a new Courier. Maybe yeah. buy a new Courier. Maybe you don't like those cosmetics. One, yeah, too. right. Marana Ag's about halfway done with her Midas, so that will be coming, or a little bit more than halfway, actually, with the 600 gold she has banked, so she'll be getting that pretty soon. It's not necessarily the end-all answer here, but it never hurts. It's one of those items that just always applies a pretty constant stream of magical damage. Melted, yeah. Just gone, and they're just gonna keep going. No one's. They got the blink dagger on the jug. He's just gonna eat everything. Look how much damage he does. Just insane. They're gonna back off with the use of the moonlight shadow, just fearing, you know, like I said, that that five man. Void ult that actually would just potentially completely turn the game around. Void ult, Elder Titan ult with the Death Prophet going. Silence at the end of the Chrono. Someone needs to put him down. <laughs> Someone needs to put this Juggernaut down, yeah. <laughs> I mean, put him he's down. A, he is a dog unleashed. A thousand gold still banked up. Fifteen thousand net worth. Euthanasm! Yeah, at the 22 minute mark. And he's just still going. I mean, he's not taking a break. He's either fighting or farming, and he hasn't well, stopped he, once. He's proved he's a nuisance. I mean, like, no one can do anything. It's Dennis the like, Menace. He comes in, everyone's like, well, oh, shit, we're out. There's the Maelstrom on the Void. I do like that. I think they need that. I don't... I I wish it could have been otherwise. Oh, dear. Maybe they get a pick off him. Nah, he's going to be able to get out. Maybe he... Yeah. Oh, he TP's out. A little too slow. Not even able to find the five-position support on Infamous, the Death Prophet. Yeah, does Death Prophet not have her Yules? Damage. Yeah, she. I guess she used her Yules too early there, and then just, wow. The Magnus will <laughs> completely waste and whiff his ult. Stupid. He's probably just trying to style, but... He, it's working. Very stylish, Magnus. He's showing off. Oh, Slaughter initiated yeah, onto the Death did. Prophet and just blown up with that Juggernaut. Yeah, unless a miracle so I happens, I think, uh... I think without the Death Prophet, the chances for the Radiant team and beyond a great Chrono are just so slim. They're just going to send this Juggernaut forward. He's so big, they have the swap. I mean... Yeah. She, she is the majority of Soggy's damage right now, and 
without her, without exorcism, like, they are not going to be able to take out the jug. Slardar jumps in, Omni Slash expended, and two down immediately for the side of Soggy. The Chrono might come out. Yeah, it's going to come out, but, I mean, what is this going to do, really? <laughs> Dazzle's still just healing from the sideline. He's almost completely at full. Oh. oh. What a disaster. And there goes the Elder Titan. Death Prophet back up, but completely not. Oh, she's going to bust the ult. I don't see this doing anything here. Um, at all. She's all by herself. Oh, Yule's like used. Oh. Man. This is sad. This is for the side of Saki. You got to be just completely defeated mentally at this at this juncture. I think it was just they need the same, to, to rely the on their Bushido. You know, I think Mag Daddy has a point. I think Bushido is going to be uh, Bushido. Excuse me. Yeah, Bushido is going to be a uh, key here. And for those of you that don't know in our audience, Bushido is the ancient Japanese uh, samurai art. Of just fighting until the death and just never letting each never individual letting, defeat get you down. No. You just keep going until you you are skewered on yep. either your enemy's blade or your or, own. Yeah, or your own. <laughs> or you commit to because you're too busy just trying. And they are gonna keep trying. Roshan is gonna go down immediately. Oh, at the time that they, this is not at all looking good for the side of the radiant. Oh my goodness. Magnus Ult's gonna come out. Void's already down. Mirana's already down. Yeah, Not surprised with the GG right here. Uh, Omni Slash is gonna jump in. There it is. No, it's a shit show. Seriously, I lost. GG, it. well played. And it was. It's. I think both of these games, uh, a lesson in farming. Infamous did manage to, early game, just barely edge out Soggy on their kills, but completely out farm them. Completely out farm Soggy, who I think had a decent draft this game. <clears throat> the Elder Titan just got too uh, caught up. <coughs> yeah, I think yeah. the the Elder Titan really just Elder Titan was a big problem. Yeah, um, I you know as much as I just, yeah. as much as I see what I think they were going for, just get all the ultimates on around the same time and go for it. They really that wasn't that didn't end up be what they were doing. The Elder Titan just kept jungling, like oh I'm doing all right, I might as well just keep going. And I think that was just way too detrimental. Uh, and you can see that in his ending game impact. Look, he's 0-6-1. and one. He was literally involved in one kill. And granted, there was only four kills on his team, so not trying to uh, say that he didn't do anything and that, you know, ratio-wise, yeah, okay, it's not that bad. But, yeah, just obviously his team wasn't able to put up with the fact that he stood in the jungle the entire time. The most deaths on his team as well. No, sorry, Shadow Demon edges him out with seven deaths to his six. But poor Shadow Demon, he just, there was nothing he could do. Yeah, uh, uh... But again, it's just, I, th I really think it's just the same story as game one. Uh, at early game, transition to the late game, it comes out able to farm, able to put put together their ults, put together their synergy, and... I'm just a little upset. Really. I'm just a little upset. I did... I wanted to see Saki come back. I liked their draft. I liked where they were going. They had so many synergies, and I think their usage of they the Elder Titan... Good. They they started off all right. They get that they had that great first blood. Yeah. I just think putting the elder titan in the jungle was their biggest problem because that juggernaut in the last game as well, the mid lane of Infamous just completely dominated and shot ahead in farm, and they allowed him to do it again. He had supports rotating in his lane, not enough rotating in to the mid lane on the side of the radiant uh, on Soggy here, and they paid for it. Mm. Twenty five minute victory for Infamous. Yeah, and I really like. I really think the Infamous. Vision game was way stronger. It, able yeah. To basically, had, they had wards behind all the T1s at every since minute three or something. Yeah, you pointed that out and able to see when when when, when you noticed that, I, I immediately yeah, I agree completely. They they completely dominated the vision yeah. game. We're just able to make way more informed decisions on rotating on um, whatever whatever the game went and. So, just really think that helps in the early game a lot more. So, so yeah, congrats. Trying to improve on later. Congrats to Infamous. Yeah, I think Soggy want to go back and look at the replay and just see what they could have done different. Definitely the big obvious glaring Elder Titan jungle, but you know I think uh, congratulations to Infamous. Not to take away anything from them at all. They no. they played incredibly well. Their Dragon had about 800 GPM in a 25 minute game. And look at that 10 zero deaths. Fantasy rating. Look at that 10.1 fantasy rating. How does the Slardar get an 11.6 yeah, fantasy rating? Is my that, question. That needs to be looked at. Come on. Um, there was like 
ten three man crushes. And does that to, does that factor into the fantasy rating? The death prophet. I, I'm not I'm not disagreeing that he owned, but I didn't think if the if the fantasy rating actually can take that into account, then rats off to Valve because that's pretty impressive that it can actually look into that. I, I would have to agree the starter killed it, but KDA wise and stat wise, mm, Joe, you're not taking maybe, home. It, maybe it was uh, getting that many last hits and that many nice on Slardar is pretty hard to do. Yeah, that's true. Perhaps Actually, for that hero, it's uh, it's out of range. It. Yeah, I would agree. Then maybe that's it. Well, uh, congrats to Infamous. They will be moving on here in the KOD League Season 2. Uh, check out the rosters online. Um, or, I'm sorry, not check out the rosters. Check out the brackets online to see where we are now. Um, and just overall, I, I think I, I, I just hope that Soggy can look at this and come back with just a slightly better game plan. I think it was just too... The drafts was too strange in the first game, way too greedy of a game plan in the second, second game, one, yeah. and Infamous just completely took advantage of it. Their mid laner dominated both games, and their initiation was just far superior and just completely took I mean, over. Well, like we've been preaching, proper preparation prevents poor performance, and they just... That's the five Ps. I feel like Infamous did it better. Yeah. So, uh... Shoutouts, uh, shoutouts to Bluebell Ice Cream. Yep. We don't have any here, but if you, if if anybody from Bluebell's watching and wants to send it to my address, which you can find in the VOD, um, I or do live in Austin, us. Texas, or just sponsor us, sponsor our casting. Um, yeah. If you get, if you give me, if you send us a gallon of vanilla, I will eat it the whole thing during the next uh, match that we do. There's also a Dolce de Leche flavor you guys make that is just killer. I'll so, eat that too. Doesn't yeah. matter. I, I actually, I don't care. Actually, there's not a single bad flavor. No, right? there's not. We well, stream, minced debatable. We can stream Mac Daddy eating Bluebell. We will, in our next stream, will, have a camera send, set up of just they, him eating a whole tub of Bluebell. I will eat a whole gallon in a game. Jesus. Because I hate myself. Oof, wow. Hatred. Self-hatred. Well, since oh, we're about to get... To eat a whole five gallon. Five gallon? Do the, five gallon of Bluebell? Do they yeah. make a... Is that a thing? Oh. It, if they... They're listening to us. They'll make, they'll make it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> make it happen, Bluebell. Make dreams come true. Not only for us, but for the viewers who really want to see this. Who really want to see I think me more than anything. Go into a you know. Hype. Hype in the sugar coma. This. Yeah. We, we want five gallons. Tweet it. Tweet it, Bluebell. <laughs> we hashtag we want five gallons Dota two. Uh, that's not a hashtag that has ever been used before. I can guarantee you. No, so be maybe, original. Be maybe, the first no, on that maybe train. Maybe they pulled it off the shelves. That's hashtag we want five gallons Dota two. And go ahead, go ahead and hashtag KOD League while we're at it, so we can you know just make the people that are uh, putting this tournament on a little bit more happy because this has nothing to do with them at all. So since we're getting kicked back to the lobby and we're seeing my uh, my solo MMR, which I mean, how embarrassing is that? We are going to uh, and the fact that I haven't spent any tokens because I'm a weenie. Um, we are going to get back to. Uh, some more games, uh, let you guys know up on the website and on our Facebook page. So, thanks a lot, everybody, for coming out and watching us today. We love you. We love you. This is Ratmore, uh, ins.ratmore, uh, my rear caster, the, the Mac, Mac Daddy. Daddy. Hell yeah. Well, I'm your left caster today. Well, you're on my right. Or she's sure. right. Yeah, sorry about that. You're, I'm on your left. And the, our other caster, joining us on TeamSpeak here today, Nepsico. You know, feel free to say something, Nesico, like, goodbye. Yeah, like, thanks for tuning in, or something. Oh, wait, you can't, because you've muted yourself. Well, uh, I'm sure he wishes he could say goodbye. Yeah, he's probably saying that in his heart. <laughs> uh, so, everybody have a wonderful night, and see you next time on KOD League Season 2. That is Kings of Dota League. Yo. Uh, have a wonderful Yo. night. Peace Yo. out. And, Yo. uh... Holla at a baller. <laughs> yeah. Holla at a baller. <laughs> yeah. Holla at a baller. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Thanks for tuning in to that Dota 2. Don't you know it's me and you watching the game? And I'm just like, woo! Did you see that? That what went down? I'm talking, cause the main's looking kinda sexy with that frown. But enough about that, enough about me. We'll see y'all next time. Maybe it's a Christmas treat, cause it may be Christmas time. But I do love Christmas, so uh, I don't let you know when, uh, whatever. Suckers.